So what should you do if a patient shows up to you already with a positive Lyme test? This could be a UK or Irish Lyme test or a foreign Lyme test. Um, I think the, the most important thing is to understand the diagnosis of a tick-borne infection does not depend upon a test. A negative test can mean you have the infection, a positive test can mean that you had a previous infection. This is no different than when I evaluate somebody uh, for syphilis in the antenatal clinic where I work. Uh, you have to take a history and find out if, they've had a pre if there's a previous history that's suspicious for a tick-borne infection or they're in a location where they, where they could have had an infection or had they previously been treated for Lyme. Uh, um, the test for Lyme after you treat can possibly stay positive for life, no different than a very varicella antibody. If you check a varicella antibody in a pregnant woman, you're doing it to see if they had varicella in the past, not to see if they've got acute chicken pox. So there's understanding serology is very important. In terms of non-UK quote-unquote accredited tests, uh, we send off private tests all over the world for all sorts of infectious disease and we accept those tests. So I think it's very important if you are suspicious that if a patient has a tick-borne infection and the standard accredited quote-unquote tests are negative, that you, you'd be at least willing to understand uh, what's behind the private tests that are done. Um, there's lots of different tests that are available. Um, some of them are immunological tests, including Ellie spot assays. Uh, some of them are uh, antibody tests. Some of them are PCR tests, and some of them are other technology. If you are showing an interest in assisting patients with tick-borne infections, I think it really behooves you to uh, understand the tests. For example, the standard test that was developed uh, for Lyme was the Borrelia burgdorferi sensu stricto test. Um, this is the strain of Borrelia that is common in North America. The strains of Borrelia in the European Union are different. There are also strains of Borrelia, Borrelia myomotai, which are not Borrelia um, standard um, uh, strains and they do not get picked up with current uh, antibody tests that are available either in the UK or Ireland. So I think importantly is the, the test is not the critical part. The test is supportive and you have to put the test into clinical context. People often are read that we have a, a false positive test. Um, there's also a possibility it could be a weak positive. So I, th I think it's very important that you have a better understanding of testing if you are taking care of patients uh, with these conditions.